What if the whole Big Bang Theory is actually a lie? We have a new contender for the most likely origin of the universe. I'm going to dive into it as quickly as I can. Basically, this new theory suggests that our universe exists within the black hole of another universe, and there's no need for a Big Bang, no need for singularities, no need for dark energy or dark matter or a lot of the crazy stuff, and it uses all the existing laws of physics that we already understand well. Shout out, by the way, to Christopher, who has the top comment on my last video, which got 140,000 views. Crazy. I was getting like a couple hundred, and then that one blew up. He said, there's this new theory. I did a lot of research to go and deliver you guys my understanding of it. So this new black hole universe theory was developed by Enrique Gastanyagas, who is a UK professor of cosmology. Instead of the Big Bang, this universe has a bounce. Basically, when you get really, really condensed inside of another universe's massive black hole, the Higgs force is holding together particles, creating mass, gets so strong that they suddenly repel everything outward. That's where we get this big expansion where the universe is able to expand past the speed of light, a bunch of things that we previously couldn't account for with the Big Bang Theory. Now, you may recall a black hole is essentially an area where gravity has collapsed in on itself, and the gravitational force is so strong that light cannot escape past what's called the event horizon. This is why it's a black hole, is because because light literally can't deal with how gravitationally strong it is. And what's kind of crazy about this whole concept of an event horizon past which light or information cannot escape is that that would be the edge of our current universe, the event horizon of this parent universe inside of which black hole we exist. Because the black hole never reaches a singularity, it bounces before that, there's going to be a little bit of a positive curvature which we can calculate in our universe and which gets rid of the need for dark energy to make calculations work. Dark matter, on the other hand, could be explained by primordial black holes that happened right before the bounce phase of this parent black hole, meaning these are relics from the previous universe that don't interact with light that we can't observe but are still having some gravitational effect. Now, what's the deal with our parent universe? Does it have the same laws of physics? Does it itself have a parent universe? Where does this cycle end? I'm not quite sure. There's still some things to work out in this study, but we are actually finding ways to be able to test this, to run the numbers and see if it proves this hypothesis. So you guys can check out that paper and follow this channel for more updates on crazy universal stuff as I explore it with you all. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Stay learning. Peace. 98.7% of you watching this are not subscribed. I value your time. I won't waste it. You'll get a little smarter, learn a thing or two about AI. So hit the button. Check it out. Thanks.